All right, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Before We Leave. It's a it's a sandbox, post-apocalyptic town building thing, except for you're leaving the planet. Honestly, it's kind of like if you took uh, Banished and combined it with... It's like Banished, but like with the Fallout setting. And a little bit of like Planetary Annihilation in terms of just a planet hopping. I, I have never seen that in another game. Um, overpopulation doesn't happen. Start resources. Eh, I'll be fine with that. And demolition returns all resources. Start polluted, heart starting desert, number of planets. Cool. Let's just get going. I'm just going to make it so these people can breed endlessly and we don't have to worry about over overpopulation problems. Let's see. So, Wander, how have you been? I have been good. I have been... I've been playing way, way too much Final Fantasy, as I said, so that's been kind of just consuming my life. But now that we are... Oh, boy. Music. Uh, I did... Nope. Okay, the mu this music might be a little loud and we might want to change couple of things around. So first and foremost, turn this stuff down. Okay, there we go. Pause game and unfocus, auto save frequency. Let's change that to 10. I believe this is an early access game. Uh, as it looks like there are some features miss missing and they're asking for feedback and a lot of other stuff. That said, compared to Industries of Titan, which I was playing the other day, it seems like this has a little bit more content to it. So bottom right looks safe. Uh, let's move my camera. And that's all the prep work I need to do. Ah, uh, let's see. So obviously, this is the bomb shelter. People have been living down here for X number of years. And they finally emerged to a very small, empty planet. I almost kind of wish that this was just the entire region available. Uh, and that, like, if you scroll this way, you just see the, like, burnt out husk of what was the rest of their planet. Okay, uh, so let's get going. So we got to get to the transmogrifier. That's how we make tools. What is this? Runes generator. It makes... I have no idea. It does cause some pollution, so we want to stay away from that. We got some boats. So I got to... Hmm. I got to make some neighborhoods, but I want to stay away from the pollution. Let's see. I did stop my music, right? Okay. I always have to be paranoid that I don't have two two sources of music happening simultaneously, because that's that's spooky biz. Hmm. Now this doesn't produce pollution, no, it doesn't. Is it me or do we have two songs going simultaneously? Okay. So let's let's see if that fixes the music problem. So where do I want my people to live? Ideally Well, I guess realistically. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna build out there. We can have three... No. Hmm. I can have three houses, and we're gonna need a, uh... We're gonna need a lumber hut right there. That should be good enough, at least for now. Uh, let's see. I'm just gonna start building roads out past some of these locations. It's in retrospect. Can I... I'm gonna get rid of that road. Because we can probably put another woodcutter or two right there and then last order of business pop that there this is just ancient tech we are going to want access to the cliff side somehow yeah this would probably be the probably be the place for it okay and now that we had weird music issues now we have no music issues <laughs> early access it's normal okay so right we are going to need food bad I should probably deal with that sooner than later, otherwise everybody starves and this gets really embarrassing. Let's put a road down there. Everything is going to be roads. Those there. Put a well here or here? I suppose it doesn't really matter. We want to get access to this boat though. But that at least lets me get a couple of things in the immediate area. And let's get one more potato farm. Okay, next up, we want to look into an explorer's hut. Where do I jam that? Somewhere near all this tech. Probably? Because I want to move it around. And we'll need a library somewhere. But I don't think we actually have the resources to get the library going. I'll jam it there all the same. Okay, so this needs wood and it needs tools. We can convert wood using this thing. Oh, you know what? I just turned... No, I didn't turn the music off. I'm just going to turn the music off and we're going to listen to our own. I. It seems like that's going to be one of the main uh, broken bits here. So we're just going to... 
we're just going to leave it as such. Uh, and not worry about it. So, I guess at the beginning of this, I was talking about how this is a post-apocalyptic survival game. It is, but it's very much like a, a mild post-apocalypse. There is no immediate threats that I know of or that I've seen. And as, as far as I know, it's, it's just one of those games that you just kind of are, are doing... It, it's more of a balancing act and a progression simulator than actually caring too much about like, oh no, there's bandits coming to wreck your shit. And I can get behind that. Okay, so that is ancient technology. Cool. What do you need? Needs stone block to make the library, and we don't have that. Right, because we need the elevator. Oh, no. We can get stone blocks. We just have to tear up a bunch of trees. Well, goodbye, trees. I don't know how you give me rocks, but that's okay. Yeah, I've been, I've been playing a lot of early access games lately. A lot of, like, really in-progress ones, too. Which, honestly, I've found a bit demoralizing. Just because I keep playing them and they're only, like, an hour long. And I'm like, okay, that's kind of fun. But I'd, I'd like to make a little bit of headway on, on a game. Instead of just constantly uh, having to start over. Because, you know, there's only so much available content. I don't know if this is going to be one of those that, like, really has that much content. But so far, like, I like what I see and it seems a little bit more functional. I, I guess this is particularly poignant for me right now because I was playing, um, Industries of Titan. Which was actually a pretty fun game, but it was also one of those where it was just, like, it needed more time in the oven and it, it didn't have that. And I'm sure it'll get there. But I'm just like, oh, but it could have been more. I have probably spent way too much effort on roads here. So what do you need? Also needs wood. We probably need want to get another uh, lumberjack. Let's get two. I'm sure we're going to run into population problems, but hopefully we'll be we'll be good to go. And Flotsam got the Twitch. I was actually really disappointed by that. Uh, playing Flotsam and, and finding out that even after seven months of development, it still had some pretty pretty major hiccups. It was a bit sad. Okay, so we want to get some warehouses down. Oh, right. We actually have to wait for it to research before I can get the warehouses. And we're going to want mines, because we need stone to make half this stuff here. Eh, not all of this, but still. Music for this game is good. Actually, uh, fair warning, this is not... Uh, this is... This music that we were listening to is actually very much not from uh, from the game. I wish it was. The, mu the music that I heard was good. The problem is it was layering over itself and repeating a bunch, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, so this is currently just Pop Sky uh, on Pretzel that I'm listening to instead. Let's see. Are we done? Okay, we're done with that. Let's start working on getting the elevator down. Okay, so... Ah! Warehouse. Wow! Warehouses are a bit bigger than I was expecting. Whoops, that didn't work. Oh, that's for roads? Okay, do we just have this be right in the middle of town? I guess I'll just have it be right in the middle of town. I didn't realize warehouses would, would be as big as they are. Well, do we want to get a second one of them? I'm not really using this immediate area, so I'm, I'm going to stick two down. And it needs tools. It needs a lot of tools. At least Flotsam is still better than the last time I played it. Very true. But if you can only get 40 minutes in uh, before some game-breaking bug pulls you out of it, then you kind of have to question a little bit and be like, is this... does this actually work? Is this as good as it could be? Uh, well, I mean, obviously not, but it's like, I, I don't know, I get uncomfortable when I'm playing a game and it's not, it's not even playable. Like, I'd rather have a very solid, complete vertical slice 
than a game that is kind of like they're trying to do everything, but they're still having, you know, bugs and issues and such. Are these trees growing, or do we actually like slowly deplete them? Because obviously we're pulling the trees out of here. Hopefully we can regrow trees somehow. I'm assuming when this blue meter fills up, we get another tree here. Yeah. Yep, there it is. They just pop right, up, right back up. Cool. Sort of reminds me of a simple banished. Sort of, yeah. It's a simple banished except for you're, like, using space age tech. Which I think is actually kind of cool. Now we could put a quarry there. Except for we really don't want to. Because these are... This is a... Oh, that's a library. Okay. So I'm actually going to put a secondary elevator up here. And I'll use that for the mine. Because if I, if I put it here, we're going to have pollution potentially near this hut, and that'd be a bad thing. Oh! We can upgrade the huts. How much would that cost? We need house technology before I can upgrade the huts. Okay, so I guess that's not. Let's see. Wonder did you just start? Yep, about 13 minutes ago. Oh, this is pretty bumping. I like this. Alright, how much wood am I sitting on? An okay amount of wood. We need more tools, though. I almost kind of wish there was a way that I could uh, specifically ensure that I keep producing until I have X number of tools always. You said you wanted the end of games to allow you to go to space. Well, here you go. And I actually really appreciate that. There's a lot of games that really don't have this... I'm not going to say it like a good sense of scale. Uh, do I want to... Do I actually move this house? Maybe I do. Yeah, a lot of games kind of lose a sense of scale, uh, and you end up, I'm not going to say you end up kind of just doing boring things, but like, I like games with crazy tech trees. One of my favorite games growing up was Total, Total Annihilation, uh, and I mean, I guess you could say the, the follow-up Supreme Commander kind of in the same vein, but it, it's one of those where, okay, maybe we shouldn't do Pop Sky. Here. I, I'm just going to say, I'm going to listen to the, uh, let's go with the, the, uh, chill playlist on Pretzel. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to identify which song is which, but still. Okay, let's, let's get some more houses down up right there, and let's, uh, salvage this one so I can have this road continue on this direction along the way. I'm going to turn down the bloom. Interesting question. Let's check graphics. The answer is yes. No bloom. Goodbye, bloom. You don't. You don't need to wait. I think I need to hit accept or apply. What have I done? What have I done? It's, ha it's happened in um. <laughs> what? Happened. Okay, so I got the UI back to normal. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. We fixed this. <laughs> what is this? A UI for ants? Excuse me, it was a UI for tall ants. Uh, let's see, let's destroy this tree. Okay, this mu this music is actually pretty rad. Who did this one? James Flamestar. Oh, I used to listen to this guy a lot. And then I forgot. Holy crap. Oh, no resources selected. So this is going to be the food. And this is going to be construction. I guess we'll have food and drink here. Okay, so that way, now we actually have proper storage going on, which we did not have earlier.
Probably still want to build some more warehouses somewhere, but it's a... It'll work. So this way we can actually store some of the wood we're working with. So not available peeps for all posts. That's fine. So food and drink on the island. We got plenty of water. We could probably get another well and some more potatoes. Or actually, looking at this, we should have enough food. Because now we're actually storing some of it. So I'll, I'll keep an eye on that one. Okay, uh, let's see. So let's get... Let's get that down. Um, hmm. Was that... We are we are overpopulated. Oh, some of my peeps are too hungry for work. What? But we have potatoes. We have sufficient patats. Uh, let's do gardening so we actually have some other food. So what's wrong with you? We need more tools. Well, what do we think? Do we make a ridiculous... Uh, potato collective. So my people shouldn't be too hungry to work. That that wouldn't make any sense. We have no children, and the people on my island are happy. I'm betting the whole, like, people are too hungry to work was just purely hello. Production is... Okay, so we could actually use some more potatoes. The demand is 18, but as we get more people... I'm sure we'll we'll need some more. Oh, well, in that case, put a road down. I'm gonna just curve that around a little bit. It's not the greatest, but it'll do. Let's see. Did we just finish? No, we're not. We're not done with that one. We could use. We could use another well. 100%, I'll just put it right there. And we could use another warehouse. Okay, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna slap all that down. Looks like, looks like our potato situation is doing fine. Now that we can actually store this stuff... I don't think... I don't think we have much to worry about. Max for resource? Yeah. Definitely need another well. I guess, now that I'm thinking about it, let's just slap a well down directly next to the thing. Should work fine. And I'm gonna opt the priority on this one, so hopefully somebody keeps working on it perpetually. Let's see, no storage space. Yeah, I guess we do need more warehouses. More warehouses! There we go. Can you make potato GLaDOS in this game? No. But, I mean... Eh. Okay, gardening research. So we, we now can do vegetable fields and irrigated tea fields. And we don't have enough fertility for fruits. Alright, let's get some veggies up in this. I guess I'm gonna demolish that. We'll get another woodwork workshop here. I'm just gonna exploit every available resource that I have and keep making as many tools as I possibly can too. Then we should probably start repairing some things. Cause I know we've got the rune generator. Oh. I guess the rune generator is a bit of an issue. We'll have to get rid of the potato fields and move them out. But I guess we kind of knew that was going to happen eventually anyway. Let's see. Wonder if you ever played Warcraft 3. I actually have not. I was I was originally planning on uh, playing Warcraft 3 with Reforged. But uh, we all saw how that one turned out. So I never got around to it. It's a bit of a tragedy. I was I was really looking forward to it. Cause I don't know, Reforged would have been pretty rad. Let's see. Oh. Is there issue? 
Well, I'm gonna up the priority on these. We should have plenty of people working here constantly. Like, how many of them are even employed? How do we even find that statistic? I'll check peeps. I think we have a lot of unemployed people, so what we should probably do is figure out how to get more wood up in here. I guess once we get this ancient technology out of the way, I can put another woodcutter there. Okay. Eh, things are going. It just takes a little while. I'll admit, I'm extremely curious as to why this is the only channel I've seen the display this room is in slow mode. You may send messages every 1,657 months, at least on mobile. It's a weird Twitch bug. I honestly have no idea why it's been happening and why it's been affecting people watching me specifically, but it, it has been consistently for a little while. I wish I could tell you why, but... No answers. It sucks a little bit, because, like, I, I, I would gladly disable whatever it is uh, that is causing that problem. My yeah, tools are my bottleneck. Yeah, the problem is I can't automate tool production. I have to constantly tell this thing to transmogrify tools. And that sucks. Oh, right. I was going to get a quarry down. Why does this work? I'm honestly actually really curious. What are you? Rusting Hulk. Or does it work because it... Oh, those are the mountains. Got it. What if I put it here? So it would work there. Yeah, because the main thing is I don't want to poison the trees if it, I can avoid it. All right, let's get rid of these for a second. I can, I'm sure I could move my tree situation around. It doesn't seem like it matters too much. So I guess I'll just put it there and we'll get a, we'll get a quarry down. I'll probably just put another quarry up and over here at some point. Let's see. Oh, what's up, Josh? How's it going? Uh, Wandercam. Yeah, uh, a lot of reviewers were stealing my footage. And normally, honestly, I do generally have a habit of saying kind of yes if I know, like, they're just doing a short review or something like that. It really depends on the, uh, the channel. Let's see. I don't think we have kids. Let's go, let's go for the bridge. I should work on repairs. Uh, but effectively, people were just taking my footage and using it, uh, for their own videos. And these are, like, large channels that really have no excuse for using my stuff, apart from the just laziness, I guess. And I... Uh, I got kind of tired of that, so I just was like, yeah, no, uh, and decided instead I'd, yeah, let's, let's actually cancel this one. We're just going to put two quarries up in here instead, I think. Let's see, what were they reviewing you for? They weren't reviewing me. Uh, it was like, No Man's Sky, Slay the Spire. And what they would do is they would effectively just search for whoever has the most popular video um, on whatever the game, and then they would just use that. And so in, in my case, they used my Slay the Spire footage because, uh, you know, I was the person, when you, when you went searching for Slay the Spire, I was the first person to show up. And so it made it very, very easy for them to just nab it and use it for their own purposes. And, like, that just didn't feel good. And so I figured, 
face cam is probably the easiest potential way that I can just say, hey, no. Let's see, no resources selected. So we want to do vegetables and tea. Do we get another warehouse for wood? Probably. How are we doing on potatoes? Sixty potatoes. So I'm I'm gonna demolish this one, and we're gonna put another warehouse in, specifically for more wood. See, they could just put their face over the, yours. They could. I, I truly, if they wanted to, uh, they they really could fake it. Uh, there's only so much I could do to stop that sort of behavior. But like, I figure this is a good enough way of dissuading people. Uh. They, you know, this works, this works for me. Plus, a decent amount of people seem to like the face cam, so I've just been kind of keeping with it. It's certainly been better for my, like, my habits and my posture. I don't, uh, sink down in my chair anymore. I do notice I lean forward a bit now, which is not great. Um, but, like, my posture has always been kind of terrible. Ever since those just god-awful high school, uh, like, desks, you know, the the really cramped ones. And so I, I have just been kind of glad to say, hey, uh, now I have no excuse but to sit up perfectly straight at all times. Yeah, so it looks like our biggest issue here is actually just transporting resources. We've got a lot of people. None of peeps for all posts. So actually, it looks like we do need to scale up our housing. Uh, well, do we know if our peeps ever go home? They probably don't. Let's just let's just have a number of houses lurking out in the, these locations. I get rid of these trees. I was originally considering maybe trying to utilize them somehow, but I just don't think it's worth it. Keep that going, slowly. Okay, jeesh. Yeah, tools really are my bottleneck here. Do we have an iron stockpile anywhere? No resources selected, okay. So that's tools, oh. Let's have this be iron and iron ore. That way we can actually store some of this stuff. Uh, let's research repair. Okay, did this get done? The answer is no. We need, to, we need to be making more tools. I really wish you could actually just automate the tool production. Unless... Iron smelter, toolsmith. Oh! Now, looks like Toolsmith requires some stone, that's fine. Creates tools from iron and wood. So, I guess if I put it up here, it shouldn't poison anything, unless it poisons the trees. I, I don't entirely know how pollution functions in this game. Okay, uh, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do the, the... I don't even know if it's a risky thing. I'm just gonna put the tool production down there. This way we won't have to rely on this anymore. Uh, let's let's speed things up a lot, because it doesn't seem like we're hitting any kind of cascade failure. Oh. Is this the productivity? No. 
Oh, if I cycle between this, that's how we get to the idle peeps. Okay, cool. Oh. I wonder if that actually would hit my my trees. Let's demolish that. Um, where's a spot that barely produces anything? Okay, uh, here maybe. Toolsmith, because I can move the potato farms elsewhere. It's fairly centrally located. The only problem is this is actually, hmm. I guess the alternative is we could put it all up here. Or if I just put it right here, because this will not affect anything. We don't really care about these trees. I'm not utilizing them. I could be, but I think we actually have more than enough wood. So is there an enemy in the game or an objective? There is an objective. It's launch a rocket into space and start colonizing other planets. Uh, which I actually, I, I don't know, I find that super compelling. I don't really need an enemy. And I, I think that's actually something from a, a design perspective and even like a... I'm not going to say a mentality perspective, but like, do you actually need to have an enemy in a game to enjoy the game? It definitely challenges you and forces you to change what you're doing, but it does beg the question of like, do you, do you actually need an enemy to enjoy what you're doing? And I think for certain games, you really don't. Yeah, it's the economy is the enemy. The the balancing act of what you are trying to do is is the enemy. And it's more of a question of What's that? Oh, that just means high priority. Well, I can probably switch these back to regular priority. Now that I now that I've got 108 wood, I don't think we need that as much. I don't know if we need a, a toolsmith. We're probably going to need an iron smelter as well. Cripes. Well, if I put it here, it should be okay. We do have to keep generating more tools, though. Let's see. I think you need an opposing force of some type. Not necessarily an enemy, I think. I think for certain games, yeah. I, I'm still not entirely convinced that this game specifically would need an opposing force, though. I think it would challenge you more. I just... am unconvinced that it would make much of an immediate difference as far as what I'm doing. I think this reminds me of Universe Sim and a couple other games. And maybe they will actually have more adversarial things, but f from all of the marketing I've seen, it's more just about building a, a well-balanced system. Kind of like, uh, I guess Satisfactory is the best example I could think of, where the challenge is more setting the system up, as opposed to, uh, as opposed to, like, actually fighting anything. You know, there are a couple of enemies that are in your way, but most of the time... Let's see, low power. Okay. Well, I guess I will repair that. We might we might have to move our wood gathering efforts elsewhere. Uh, let's see. Let's get another one one of these here. Let's see. Wonder what happened to your push-up reward. Uh, I actually owe push-ups, and so I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to do push-ups or have that as an available reward uh, until I've filled out my backlog. I specifically owe about 30 triangle push-ups, uh, and that there's no way I'm going to be able to get through my backlog of triangle push-ups and uh, okay. Here we go. Now we actually have tools being produced. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to be able to make it through my, my triangle push-ups uh, requirements. Okay, so we have a wood generator. No pollution. 
Well, maybe if we're lucky, we don't have to worry about the pollution yet. So let's see. We've got all of this science. Right. Next order of business is actually working on the boat. No, so I'm just going to have people start gathering the boat. Or gathering for the boat. What else do we have over here? Explore at your own risk. Oh, there's pollution. Okay, that's that's a little bit more obvious. So that might mess up this area, but I think we're fine on food. Let's take a look. We got water. We don't actually have as many vegetables as I was expecting I would. Okay, let's demolish that. Demolish that. I'll have to I'll have to get a better wood setup out here probably. But yeah, for lucky this wood generator does not actually produce that much pollution compared to this mess. Oh boy. That is uh that's a stark contrast. Okay, colony ship Abacus is ready. Uh, do I control it? Oh, I do control it. Well, this colony ship doesn't seem to cost any resources, so I'm going to use it to fill out the map currently. I really like that, actually. This is cool. 